Rainier was founded in 1850. The area was home to the Cowlitz and the Chinook Indians. These Indians had a hatred for the white man, and the early settlers of Rainier did not feel safe. From 1855 to 1859, there was a period of considerable unrest among the Indians. It was this unrest that brought about the building of a stockade in Rainier around 1858. The stockade was sometimes referred to as a fort. It was used as a place of refuge in case of an attack by Indians. Some say the stockade was also used as a warehouse. The stockade was built with double walls of pilings driven into the ground approximately 10 feet deep. The double wall was wedged together and was said to be 40 to 50 feet high. The wall also had a platform around the top for a sentinel and it was considered to be bulletproof. There was also loopholes in the wall that the defenders could use to fire at attackers. The stockade was never finished. It was only an inc- incomplete semicircle until it was torn down in the late 1870s and the early 1800s. The stockade was never actually used. One time in 1858, there was a rumor that the Indians were on the warpath and the women and children were brought into the stockade for safety. The Indian attack never came. A lot of people agree that the fort or stockade never existed, that it was simply just a barricade, and that it would provide just enough time and protection for the Rainier citizens to escape down the Columbia River by boat. Relics of the unfinished stockade were visible until the 1940s.